Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lindsay Watson. I'm Stan Boney, former Poland Schools Resource Officer Steve Kent, who's also an Austin Town Township trustee, has been indicted on sexual charges. The indictment comes after Kent was fired as a Poland Township policeman for what was described as immoral conduct and malfeasance. First News reporter Desiree Goslin has the story live from the newsroom. I'm told Steve Kent started working as a school resource officer for Poland Township in 2013. Then in last June, that complaint was filed, and that's when the investigation started. Today, he faces three charges of sexual battery and one count of tampering with evidence. According to the indictment, the victim, the alleged victim, is a student. We got one complaint, and within 24 hours, uh, he was no longer working here. He was on unpaid leave uh, and he was not in the school. Students were already off campus for summer break when the complaint was filed. That complaint got directly turned over to BCI. After months of investigation, Officer Steve Kent was let go in March from the Poland Township Police Department. It just took that long for the uh, investigation to take place. Once we got the investigation results, we were able union-wise and legally to terminate him officially. Craig Hockenberry took over as superintendent of Poland Local Schools in August, two months after the complaint was made. Unfortunately, um, situations like this aren't, it's not new to public schools, concerned about the safety of the kids and everything. So one of the first things we talked about is what measures can we put in place? He says now there are multiple school resource officers on campus. They check each other. They're, you know, they're there to, you know, together working with our staffs. We're told the district has multiple trainings every year to help faculty and staff identify signs of inappropriate relationships. I reached out to all three of Austin Town's trustees, including Kent. I didn't get a response from him. The other two trustees declined an official statement but said they trust the judicial, judicial system. Reporting live in the newsroom, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.